everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel as you can see i'm really excited because we are staying in an all-inclusive resort in manzanillo colima i've never been to an all-inclusive resort i'm really excited i never really traveled a lot as a kid growing up i'm the oldest of five i have a very big family and so i totally understand that for my parents it was a lot of money to pay for five children staying in an all-inclusive resort for more than one night in the US, that's really expensive. I feel like in the US, all-inclusive resorts or hotels are one, not really common, or two, they're really expensive. For the price that you're paying and the amenities that you're getting, it's not really worth it. But in countries like Mexico, where all-inclusive hotels and resorts are very common, they're also very accessible for the average everyday Mexican person, even though you pay this price you're getting so many benefits from it as whereas in the u.s you would pay this exaggerated amount of money for not even half of the amenities that you could get in mexico so i don't know this is very new to me but i'm really excited to experience this and i'm really grateful and glad that i'm able to do this for myself now that i'm an adult i hope that i can bring my parents to places like this one day and hopefully make memories like this for my children in the future. I'm also really excited to show you all and bring you all along to this all-inclusive resort. I feel like when most people think of Mexico and beaches or resorts, they think of Cancun, Tulum, the Yucatan, the Riviera Maya, and especially nowadays, places like Los Cabos and Puerto Escondido are becoming more popular but there are so many resorts and beautiful beaches in Mexico it's actually overwhelming how many that there are and I feel like there are so many that you can find that are not so full of tourists and overly saturated like this one if you're new here and you've never seen my face before hi my name is Anne I used to live in Korea for three years and I pretty much documented my life during those three years and now I'm currently living in Mexico where where I'm showing you all my everyday life as a black woman, living in Mexico, working in Mexico, and just traveling around to different places. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then definitely consider subscribing down below and joining the family. Before we get into the video, a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is Ana Luisa. I've been working with them for the past three years when I was in Korea, and they have been amazing to work with. I ride and die for their pieces. I wear them all the time. I get so many compliments and so many questions on the jewelry that I wear, where is it from, What? where did I get it. It's usually nine times out of 10 always gonna be Ana Luisa. They make amazing sustainable jewelry pieces that are timeless and go with any outfit that you can think of. They have different varieties of styles going from dainty, simple gold jewelry to some more colorful, bolder pieces. I tend to lean towards the more dainty gold pieces because that's just my style. Not only do they ship around the US, but they also ship to other countries. All of Ana Luisa's jewelry are made sustainably and are made with long-lasting tarnish resistant materials. Their pieces start at around $39 and there's a range I think for everyone if you are just starting to get into sustainable jewelry or maybe trying to find your style you can find pieces that are much more affordable and then of course you can find more um, higher end pieces on their site you can see in this video that i'm wearing the mini naomi necklace the nava huggy earrings and the drew bracelet i'll have all of these linked in the description box down below if you want to check them out for more information and i'll be sure to show you all how i style them with my outfits while i'm staying here for the weekend if you are on a budget or you just want to check out the pieces that I'm wearing in this video or any other pieces that they offer on Ana Luisa's site, I will have a link in the description box down below that you can check out as well as a 20% off coupon code on the screen. Thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video and always working with me. And without further ado, let's get into the rest of the video. So like I said, we're in Manzanillo which is a city in the state of Colima on the west coast of central Mexico. First, we took a flight to Guadalajara, which is the second biggest city in Mexico. Stayed the night, woke up early this morning and took a four, five hour bus to Manzanillo. Honestly, my neck is still hurting from the bus ride because I could barely sleep. It was so bumpy, but I'm really glad to be here. I think we're gonna be here for one full day and two nights. David's already at the pool, but I needed to unpack and do a little bit of um, filming stuff. Before we go, let me give you a tour of our room first and then we can get ready to go to the pool. So we got the junior suite 
garden view room. Honestly and truly, it was the cheapest room. We fully expected that it would just be, you know, the bedroom and the bathroom. We did not think that it would come with an entire living room. It comes with the whole mini kitchenette with a fridge. It already came with some drinks inside of it. It has a dining table as well as a living room area. So this would be really great if we were coming with other friends or family, but it's just the two of us. We really don't need all of this. And it also comes with the balcony right here and the living room. Next, we have the bedroom, which also has a balcony area. And then on this side, we have the walk-in bathroom, which is super massive. This tub, the shower. You can tell this is my side of the bathroom because I already have everything everywhere. And then here is David's. And this is the view outside of our room. It immediately opens out into the different pools that they have. That's our room. Um, I'm gonna get changed and go meet David at the pool. And then we'll see how the night goes. I know that they're having like a Mexican independence dinner or some kind of celebration tonight. Technically the holiday is at midnight, but I'm not sure exactly what is gonna happen we'll see we'll see together we'll see it this place is so pretty I, I expected it to be more packed since it's a holiday but i don't know i feel like there's not a lot of people i'm looking for david he told me he's at the beach but i need to pick up towels first so i need to figure out where the towels are before i can even go to the beach like fogging up from all the condensation even my hair is starting to stick out no we're gonna end up going to dinner in like maybe an hour or two i saw them setting up for the mexican night it actually looks really good Mexican night was actually really fun. They had a ton of different games and activities that you could play. If you won some of the games, you could actually get a prize, which was an entrance to a raffle that you could use to win some hotel merch. They had darts, um, cornhole, loteria, and the dinner was fantastic. All of the food was obviously Mexican, but specifically like Southern Mexican food, which is more traditional, but the food was incredible. 10 out of 10. So, so good. Tamales Oaxaqueño. Mole. Real mole with the whole chicken. Looks really good. Mexican jollof of rice. <laughs> Ooh, cochinita pibil. Maracoa. It's one of my favorites. I'm gonna get some.
morning. We are up early to get breakfast and then enjoy our day at the pool and at the beach. Yesterday was actually really nice. The Mexican night was really fun. They had a lot of games. There was a lot of food. Um, they even had like a raffle lottery situation. Like if you won some of the games, then you could be able to win like some prizes. Today is our only full day here. So we're gonna take advantage. I definitely wanna get a massage because my shoulder has been actually killing me for the past week. That would really help me to de-stress and also like relieve some of the pain in my shoulder. We also need to make our dinner reservation. So every night that you have dinner here, you need to make your reservation starting at 10 p.m. They have three different restaurants here. One is Mexican. They have a Japanese restaurant, which I think is the one that we're gonna reserve. And I think they also have an Italian one. I don't remember what the third one is. Pretty much all of the reviews said that the Japanese restaurant is the best. So that's what we're gonna go with. And they also have a dress code. I didn't know that there's a dress code for the restaurants. Hopefully what I packed is fine. Definitely interesting and something to keep in mind when you're booking all-inclusive hotels. But I put on all my jewelry. As you can see today, I changed up how I stacked my jewelry today. I decided to wear these bamboo heart hoops as my main piece and then use the little huggy as my second piece i just love how it looks i love how versatile these pieces are but yeah let's go get breakfast and then we'll see how the rest of the day goes We're gonna go get some snacks. It's about 2 p.m. So we're gonna get some snacks. Our dinner isn't until 9, so we have a lot of time. And I have a massage at 3. I literally fell asleep and she would ask me things and I was just so so deep in sleep that I was like no you need to repeat that like five different times but that felt amazing I do feel like the pain in my shoulder has decreased so much like it really definitely helped with my shoulder pain and I feel like it also released a lot of stress and tension that I've been holding in like with a new school year a new set of kids all that kind of stuff at work so definitely much needed definitely worth it and they also had tea they had different kinds of tea i think she said spearmint and jasmine but i got the cinnamon tea
breakfast. I got pancakes, chilaquiles, sausage, eggs, and I think this is tamales. and ready to check out of this amazing hotel honestly i don't really want to leave i don't want to go to work tomorrow but unfortunately life must continue i didn't expect to like the experience as much as i did i feel like when i travel i usually like to go to different cities go around i'm not usually relaxing and you know just resting i feel like i'm always doing something so before leading up to this trip i felt like am i even gonna enjoy this like am i actually gonna even relax it just reminded me that sometimes we just need to take a break and slow down and just actually relax like the whole point of this weekend is a vacation it's supposed to be relaxing and resting and recharging your mind and your body, especially being a teacher with middle school and high school students. I didn't realize how much stress and tension I was carrying in my body until after this weekend. So I definitely feel more recharged and ready to start my Monday tomorrow, which I don't want to. I would totally recommend this um, all-inclusive hotel. It was beautiful, as you can see in the footage. The food, amazing. The drinks, fantastic. The service was incredible. The only thing that we didn't like was the Wi-Fi. Honestly, the Wi-Fi connection was really terrible. I feel like we got better Wi-Fi and service outside at the pools and the beach than we did in our own room. But other than that, like amazing. I honestly could not complain. I also don't have any other experience of an all-inclusive to like compare this to, so... Mm. And I definitely would love to take my parents and my siblings to an all-inclusive at some point. I really feel like my parents would enjoy doing nothing and not having to stress about anything. I, I think they would really like that because they've been working really hard for a long time and they deserve to just rest. Everyone deserves to relax and rest. Yeah, that's it for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think about this all-inclusive would you come here thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video if you liked any of the pieces that I'm wearing in this video I'll leave them linked down below in the description box as well as the 20% off discount coupon that you can use when you use my link thank you again for watching this video and I hope that I see you in the next one bye